Master Chouch and Chows, Lantern Joe here, Merry Christmas and welcome to the Once to Battle tag for 2022. I was tagged by my good friend, uh, probably one of my oldest friends when it comes to YouTube, uh, well not in age but you know, like, you know, length of time that they've been friends with me, for Chip Tide Chips. Awesome friend, awesome person really love his content and go and check him out links are down in the description below and of course also links to the logo for everyone who i tag is also down in the description below and all the questions will be showing up on the screen and will be in the description below for those people who want to know what the questions are and of course if you want to answer these questions yourself feel free to it's just something that you can do especially if you're a poker tuber make your own videos of these things you know they're made by bird Birdkeeper Toby is the orange, you know, the originator of this tag. He's been doing it for years. He's a good friend of mine. Well, he was. I don't know if he still knows who I am, but hi, Toby. Anyway, let's uh, let's get into today's questions. There are seven of them. Let's start. So, um, the first question is: What is your favorite Pokemon from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Now, I don't know too many of the Pokemon from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because the fact is I'm trying to stay spoiler free. I'm trying to stay spoiler free as much as I can. But um, I would probably say like Quaxley is a really cool Pokemon with a pomp with the Pompadour and then uh bubble like my, my um the starters are really cool i really love the starters i can't remember all their names right now but those are the pokemon i would say are the really coolest but yeah quaxley is really cool um let me get up the pokedex so i can figure out what i actually think is uh, the best uh pokemon because I don't really know too many of them. I mean, Freakwoko, Freakoho, the fire starter, my, my fire starter, Bubble is amazing, uh, evolves into Skeldoge, uh, Skeldige, which is really really cool i will show uh, like if i have pictures i will get pictures of the ones that i think are really cool you know to uh, put up somewhere so you guys can get to see them i will very much try and do that i mean i don't know how well that's going to go but like yeah I mean, there's a load of good pokemon in this game skeldige is really cool i kind of like squid ops which is uh SPD in my in my Pokemon's uh, in my Pokemon Scarlet and Nuzlocke. Squid Drop, Squid Drops is really cool. It's like a spider monkey. It's really really cool. Those those are kind of Pokemon I like. I like Karide. I like Karidon. I will admit I do like the legendary for the well the Scarlet legendary. That's really cool. Uh, Mar Maridon not so much. It's kind of. Uh, it's, the design's kind of meh, really, with the futuristic design. I've looked at some of the Paradox forms in this game. Uh, they look pretty cool, especially Paradox Donphan. Looks really cool in both past and future forms. Uh, so those are really... Uh, those are cool uh, Pokemon. There's a few weird Pokemon, like Toadstacle and, of course, uh, Wugtrio as well. It's like... It's, it's just Dig Trio. It's just Dig Dug. In another form, really, and then uh, Toadsicle is basically just Tentacle in another form, which is weird because it can now walk on land. Very weird. Anyway, so question number two: uh, Why or how did you choose your username? My username is Lantern Joe. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Lantern is my mascot Pokemon. I know. It's the filter I'm using to uh, things. Golden, uh, you know, blues and yellows don't come over that well on this uh, uh, on the screen screen filter I use. But yeah, Lantern is my mascot Pokemon. My name is Joe, Lantern Joe. 
so question solved. But the reason why Lantern is my mascot Pokemon is a lot more, there's a lot more of a story there. I was doing a Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke uh, before I started YouTube, and basically, Lantern was one of my, uh, basically, one of the MVPs of that series. And, you know, if you watch the 9th anniversary series, you'll, the 9th anniversary video, you'll learn more about that criminal, the Lantern, and the origins for why that Pokemon is my, became my mascot, became, was the MVP of that series, it became my mascot, it just, it just suited the channel so well and I love it so much you know Criminal will always be the mascot of this channel Criminal the Lantern may not always be my favourite Pokemon but always will be the mascot of this channel I love Criminal the Lantern anyway what is the best video you've made this year analytics wise my YouTube system likes to think it's part of the Pokemon Scar uh, the Pokemon Sword and Shield transfer lab uh, that we've been doing, you know, especially like the X and Y, Black 2, White 2 ones, and to tell you the truth, I don't think they're that good, and I would love to remake those when Pokemon Bank opens up to Scarlet and Violet, I'm probably going to remake those videos. The whole point of those videos was to me to catch a Pokemon and then show you, you know, it coming up to the latest generation of Pokemon, and, but people don't really want to see that, people apparently just want to see a Pokemon taken from the original game that it was from and then put into the latest generation. They don't care about all the little bits of riffraff, they just care about a Pokemon that they got from like 4th gen coming to 9th gen. That's all they care about, apparently, from what I've heard from the comments section of those videos. It's a lot, the comments of those videos have basically just been like, hey Joe, you know, we don't care about how you catch a Pokemon, just get it to 9th generation already, for God's sakes. We don't need a 30-minute 30 30 video when it could just be a 5-minute video. So, yeah, I'm going to fix those videos up uh, and uh, re-release them when Bank it comes out for Scarlet and Violet and uh, fix them up. Season 2, yeah, Season 2 of uh, the Transfer Lab will come soon. Don't worry about that. But as for series-wise, personally, on my base, on my personal opinion, I think the Gold 97 uh, Nuzlocke was really cool. I really enjoyed playing through the uh, uh, the space day, uh, the space world demo of uh, Pokemon uh, Gold and Silver, and seeing all the Gold and Silver Betamons that we never actually got to see in the game, uh, and how they would have actually worked very really nicely. So shout out to the makers of that ROM hack. It was absolutely amazing to play it, and I really had fun with it, and I really enjoyed it. Question number three. Uh, no, no, question number four, sorry. What should your viewers expect from you in 2023? Well, you can expect more Pokemon. That's that's a given. You will expect I can tell you now you expect you can expect more Pokemon. You will expect more Scarlet and Violet videos because I've got a Scarlet and Violet Nuzlocke that is going up and it's really fun to uh, really fun and enjoyable to play that. We're going to be playing more of that. We've got Pokemon Ranger coming back as well. Uh, Pokemon Source will be a thing. Uh, Pokemon Source 2 will be a thing for next year. Uh, Pokemon uh, uh, Jordan's game, uh, you know, Jordan of Norfolk Gaming, my, my old friends on YouTube. His uh, Royal Ver Pokemon Royal Version 2 should be out uh, either, you know, like early January or, you know, like sometime in 2023 the full version of Pokemon Royal version 2 will be out and I will be playing it on the channel so that will be a thing we can also I guess you can also expect Pokemon Liberty and Justice version because that was really a fun game that we uh, that I've played years ago and it's got its full release now so I will be playing that for you guys or that is going to have a full release coming out in the next few months that's going to be a thing um, I might step away from Pokemon uh, when it comes to the trial run because there's a bunch of indie games on the Switch that I would love with demos and stuff like that and uh, stuff like that that I'd love to play for you guys. Any kind of demos that are on the Switch I would like to play as part of a trial run. Like uh, One of the games I really want to play as part of the trial run is, uh, well... 
I would probably say Octopath Traveler. Uh, also, Triangle Strategy is another one of those games I want to play that's got a demo on the eShop of the Switch, and I would love to play it for you guys as part of a trial run. And, of course, if any of these videos get more, you know, get ratings out there, get likes, get subscribes, get people wanting these videos out there, then, yeah, you can expect a Let's Play of you can expect a let's play of like triangle strategy i wouldn't mind playing it for you guys it seems like a really cool game or octopath traveler seems like a really cool game as well uh, so those are things that i wouldn't mind doing there's a bunch of indie games and other games on the eShop that have demos that i would love to play for you guys and that's the kind of thing I want to do with the trial run for this year is to sort of turn it into some kind of like side series where we don't instead of like playing for an entire game of a ROM, Pokemon ROM hack or a fan made RPG make a game we turn it into like indie developers that are you know just like great games that are available on the eShop and you know we play them we play like the first hour of the game you know, get through all the tutorials, get a decent chunk into the story, and then say, you know, do you want to see some more? Do you want to turn this into an action RP? You know, that kind of thing. That's what you can expect from 2023 when it comes to my channel. Oh, more uh, cooperative projects would be a thing that I would like to say. And something uh, that I would like to have on this channel, I don't know why... But somehow I've got into Dungeons and Dragons a lot on this, uh, on my, uh, you know, uh, time outside of YouTube, and I would love to bring it to YouTube. I don't know if that's ever going to be at all possible. I'm expanding on my knowledge of D and D, and I'm also learning to D uh, to be a dungeon master myself. So I could uh, lead my own campaign or do a series of one shots with friends. These are all things that I want to do on my channel. Uh, or even just be a player of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Hell, maybe I can, um, you know, team uh, do a collab video with, uh, you know, oh, what's the name of that party of YouTubers who do a Pokemon D and D uh, thing? Boarding, uh, boarding crew or something like that. Like those guys are really cool. I would love to work with them. That's my phone. You know what? I'm going to find out what the name of that party uh, those people are because I'm subscribed to them on Spotify. So let me do that a sec. Okay, I'd love to work. I would love to work with them. Boarding party. That's it. Boarding party. I would love to work with them. They're really, really cool people, and they do a Pokemon D and D series. You know, it's Pokemon. It's Dungeons and Dragons. What's not to love about that? And I'd love to work with them if they'd allow it. So that's another. That's the thing I'd like to do. Uh, so more co-ops Dungeons and Dragons is possibly a thing I'd love to get on this channel uh, it was suggested to me by a project that we were going to do once that never actually became like a thing but it might become a thing again so yeah Dungeons and Dragons as well as Pokemon and other Switch indie games those are things you can expect from this channel for 2023 are there any big question number five are there any big milestones you are looking forward to on your channel um there's a huge milestone on this channel not like a subscriber count or anything like that it's the fact that this year november 14th 2023 is our 10th anniversary on youtube 10 years we've been doing youtube for and that is amazing i know that i'm not as consistent as I used to be, my situations are a bit higgledy piggledy at this moment in time. Hopefully, that will change over the next year or so, and uh, you know I'll be able to be more consistent with you guys. I might even be able to live stream again eventually down the line. That would be really cool. But uh, yeah, uh, ten years on YouTube. I'm so happy that I made it to that milestone, and I so love each and every one of you guys that has been along for the adventure on the way whether you've been here for a long time or whether you've only just got here you are all amazing people and i love each and every one of you so yeah 10 years on youtube that is huge and that is what we are celebrating this year that is a huge milestone 10 years 
recommend a channel with less subscribers than you that you think your YouTube uh, that uh, you think people would love. See, that is a problem. I don't really know too many channels that I think have le that have less subscribers. I mean, I have I'm quite quite a amount of subscribers now. Uh, but uh, I used to always shout chips out in this uh, spot on the previous once to battle tags, because this is a question that like, always sticks around in battle tags. You know, some of the questions uh, get changed from year to year, but this is probably one of the questions that sticks around and gets to stay on the tags. Uh, but usually, I would recommend chips. Uh, you know, for chip tide, but chips has surpassed me. I don't know what he did, but he found the magic formula to unlock his channel and take it from 400 subscribers to like 2,000 subscribers in a matter of weeks. And I don't know what he did. It's starting to mellow out now, but I don't know what he did. I don't know how he did it. I don't even think he knows himself. But uh, yeah, it happened. He found that magic formula and maybe one day I'll find that magic formula too. <laughs> Ooh, because it took me uh, like it took me a while to grind out for subscribers that we had like, literally like eight eight years it took to get the the subscriber about eight and a half years it took to get the amount of subscribers we did uh, we have now and we're only ju just got to about a thousand so yeah that's interesting and he's just jumped but I guess I could say things like British Eagle. British Eagle is absolutely amazing. His work is really cool. He's more into live streaming these days, but you know, on Twitch. But yep, I would definitely say that guy's really cool. I mean, if you want to talk about live streamers, Hugh Tendo, really good friend of mine. Um, Hawks Hideout, amazing friend of mine, Dan. AKA Hawker, absolutely amazing guy. These are people you should subscribe to oh, if you're looking for live streamers, both on YouTube and Twitch. These guys are absolutely amazing and they're good friends of mine. So, those are people you should look at. And also, Salty DK Dan, amazing person. Uh, he's not a friend, he doesn't know who I am. He'll probably never know who I am, but it, very good. F uh, very, very, very good live streamer. Really worth what he does uh, with his Pokemon uh, uh, Scarlet. Uh, I've been big, certainly a big fan of his Friendlock series uh, since Emerald, and he did a Black and White 2 one, and uh, now he's doing a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet one, and it's absolutely amazing. So there's a series you should go and look out for, Friendlock. That's awesome. Uh, so the final question is to tag three people. I guess uh, here's my, uh, you know, sort of, uh, I don't really know who to tag kind of thing with this, but I'll give it a try and see what comes up. So my first tag is always going to be that cool Raichu, good friend of mine, really cool friend of mine is Michael at cool Raichu. He's absolutely amazing in his content. He doesn't always upload. He's very sporadic when it comes to uploading, but he's a really cool guy, and I would love you guys to learn much more about him and you know his stories when it comes to uh, Pokemon Adventures. So get out there and tell us your stories, so, you know, that cool Raichu. Um. I'd also like to tag British Eagle. He's a really cool guy. I will leave his link down in the description below. And actually, if he can understand and knows who I am by now, yes, I would definitely like to tag you. Um, I would like to tag the people at Boarding Party. Uh, those people are absolutely amazing. If you guys could do uh, the once the battle tag that would be really cool if i could tag you if you knew who i am and you did this tag that would be really cool as well i mean you sort of know who i am because you'll follow me you follow me on twitter and uh, we've talked through twitter a few times but yeah definitely would love it if you could do the tag and one more person i don't know if i know who i am but salty dk dan you are being tagged here as well. Uh, you know, I love your friend lock series. It's really fun. If you, if you've ever, you know, if you've ever seen me on Twitter, uh, you know, or if you see this tweet that I will uh, tweet, I will tweet all the people I tag, and that means if I tweet you, you've been tagged. So there you go. Do it.
the video. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end off this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Shoutouts to my good friend, the Chip Tide, aka Chips, who tagged me originally. Shoutouts to Birdkeeper Toby for doing this series year upon year upon year upon year with this tag video. Absolutely amazing. Keep doing your good work as well. And until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But until next time... Mean to the Pokemon get to us, uh, everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing for more videos. And of course, if you ring the bell, you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you want to watch some more videos, there should be something in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. But until next time, I have been Lantern Joe, and I'll see you on the next video.